Hello. <laughs> that was an involuntary arm mover, yeah. So they're everywhere, aren't they? They tell us what to buy. They log our every move. They know all of your friends. And they can even drive your car. Data can be opinionated know-it-alls with their evidence and their binary thinking. But I still love them. And not just for their decision-making skills or the way that they can help us understand the world better, but because they are so abundant, so malleable, and so profound. Now, I make art out of a material called data. And I'm particularly excited about life data, which is data from living things that can help us um, translate nature so that we can get new perspectives. And commissioned by the Open Data Institute in the space, I've, been, uh, I've created a new work called We Need Us, which explores metadata, which is data about data, from the largest citizen science website in the world called Zooniverse. And their website allows anyone to classify these large data sets about subjects such as astronomy and biology. They have over a million users who work together altruistically to, as a kind of social machine to classify data. And I've been really interested in how I can play with this data, how I can manipulate it to sort of perform for me so we can expose the clicks and swipes of users all over the world. So what I do is I take the metadata from the Zooniverse, and I count all of the users, and I count all of the classifications and I, for every second of every minute, and I store them as new metadata in a database. And then I look at the frequency of activity over the past day, over the past month, and over the past hour. And then I take these rhythms that are formed, and I use them to um, to manipulate visual graphic forms and to play back sound samples in different ways. And the data gives this artwork an impermanence and a constant change the way that it feeds into the visual compositions and plays sounds in different rhythms. And the, the system has rules, so there are only quadrilaterals, four-sided angular shapes like the pixels that sit behind all of our screens. And only flat colors are used. All of the sound recordings are environmental recordings that have been processed and manipulated, just like the data has been. And it's a highly abstracted system, visually influenced by the early 20th century art movement called suprematism, which featured artists such as Malayevich and Popova. And unlike traditional data visualization, which helps us understand the information contained within the data, We Need Us helps us to look indirectly at the data by using handcrafted algorithms and the data-driven unpredictability. I wanted to use data to inform the artwork rather than choreographing it, because I'm interested in how we can experience the data, how we can feel it as opposed to just analyze it. And researchers in the UK at the Social Machines Network have been studying the exact same data that powers We Need Us, and they're looking and examining this data to find out how communities can collaborate to solve problems without the use of, without the need for remote experts or government intervention. And these scientists are using data as a way to provide truths about how the world works. But I'm using data in a really different way, just as a new art material. And We Need Us is an easily shared, online, open source artwork. It's not just for the people, it's powered by people. We Need Us is a living artwork powered by people. Thank you.